in this video we will be trying to understand about uh, apis so imagine there are two pieces of software and they want to communicate with each other so uh, api sits in the middle and it helps in the communication of these two pieces of software so you can imagine api as a translator that helps in the communication of two pieces of software so uh, the full form of api is application programming interface so it is like a, it is an interface that helps in communication of two pieces of software now imagine uh, you want to create an application like youtube which will show the videos in the front end and uh, statistic related to video like number of com uh, number of likes in that video number of comments and the uh, comments what are the comments you want to show it in the front end so you want to create application like that so but the problem is you cannot store the data in the front end data is stored inside the database and and the front end is responsible for showing the data so you can clearly see that there are two pieces of software like front end is one piece of software and the back the database is another piece of software now the data related to videos the number of like number of comments or everything is stored inside the database but the front end needs th this data so how will uh, the data from database will go to the front end so this happens uh, with the help of api so api sit in the middle of these two pieces of software it takes the data from the database and it uh, serves a json uh, serves data in the json format and uh, the front end takes the json format and it So the front end takes the JSON and shows the video and um, the data related to those videos like like comment and uh, things like that to the user and it uses JSON for that. So before talking about JSON I would like to uh, recap the flow uh, that we have done till now. So what happens is. We want to show videos to the user but video is present into the database so api takes the data and it serves the json and uh, the front end takes the json and show the videos to the user so it's like uh, front end is saying i do not uh, want to talk with the database just give me the json and i will do everything for you and database is saying like uh, take the data from me and do anything so api is in between these two uh, pieces of software and uh, it is taking the data from the database it is creating a json and it is a serving json and um, the front end is taking that json and it is uh, so, uh, it is just showing the data in the front end so what is this data in this case it is videos and uh, the data related to videos like like comments so we were talking a lot about uh, json and the json format so you can see in the screen uh, this is an example of json format so uh, basically json stands for javascript object notation so it stores data in the form of key value pairs as you can see so uh, this format is easily understood by the front end give this format to the front end and uh, give data to the front end in this format and uh, the front end will very easily display the data so uh, i will try to explain what is in this uh, json so you will have a better understanding of uh, json so uh, you can see uh, there is an array of videos so in this case there are uh, array of objects i'll say so you can see the video which is an array of object and each object represents video so you can see the id of first video is video one the title is introduction to react and uh, description is so whatever the description is it will be here 
and the URL of the video it will be here number of likes number of views so the data related to video number one is inside the first object so inside the second object it is data related to second video inside the third object it is data related to the third video so you can have lots of videos and um, inside this videos array you have um, the data in this format so this is the JSON format and uh, the front end easily understands this format it takes this JSON and uh, show the data in the screen and user can see the screen and the information user is able to see so this is the JSON format so uh, this was just an introductory video about API so in this video we saw that uh, if two pieces of software want to communicate with each other API helps uh, them to communicate with each other so there are different styles or architectural approach of writing an API like SOAP, REST API and GraphQL these are styles of writing API these are architectural approach so we'll be looking about them in details in the next video and uh, we will also look about how we can create API using Express in the upcoming videos. So that's it for this video. Thank you.